Hello everyone, Mephone and Son of Beast here, along with the commentators, as the NBA playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Now it's time for the conference semifinals in a second round of Eastern and Western Conference. It's next after this. It's game six of the Eastern Conference semifinals. First part, we have is Miami Heat and Philadelphia 76ers. Me phone here, as this time, I will be sending things off here as OJ will be heading back towards for the pregame show. And I will be here along with the Son of Beast here for the second game. After this part is over, and he will be heading down to Boston with me and Clover. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun here to get that one here in Boston for tonight. This is going to be a lot of fun out there in between the double headers of the Eastern Conference games. So it's time to see who will win in Game 6. Will it be the Heat in on to advance to the Conference Finals? Or the Sixers to even up their score and head to Game 7? Well, we may not know what's going to happen, but let's see how well they can do. Now, let's get started. Guys, it's all yours. 2K Sports, welcome to you to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Those teams are ready to be in a locker room. Joel and B are about to be warming things up as they are all ready to press things up. A downtown look of Philadelphia. The team of this one can be the only ones to be the best. Hello everyone, Son of Beast here along with my ever crew. This is the NBA playoffs of the conference semifinals. Right now, David Aldridge is standing by on the court side. David, it's all yours. Kevin, thank you. Last season, Bam Adebayo signed that five-year max extension with the richest contract in Miami Heat franchise history. He said of this team, they're going to push you no matter what. Whether you've got $160 million or you've got $1.5, we all get treated the same. That's what I love about this organization. Kevin? Good story. The story hard line of this one. Thank you, D.A. Along with the Ever Crew, Silver Spoon and Paintbrush are here on the sideline. They will be here with me. What do you guys think who will try to and win it all here, folks? I have no observation on this one here. It's going to be very tricky for me to give this one a thought. My moment of time may be the only one to see the Heat battle things out and take them out here as well. I'm, I'm sure we're going to definitely do things that they can do. You probably would just uh, might pick up the only answer here. I may have to say for the Philadelphia Sixers here, they might want to do it again and try to scoot things up here to try to end their run here in Game 6 and head to Game 7. So the matchups are being started up here once we're all fueled up and ready to go here in Game 6 in Philadelphia. We have Duncan Robinson in the shooting guard, Jimmy Butler in a small forward, P.J. Tucker in point forward, and it's Bam Adebayo in center and Kyle Lowry here in point guard. The only thing that Jimmy Butler got it all of it down was the only player that he has out in front. And watch out for the attackers, here he comes! Bam on a bio, went around Joel Embiid, and it's that Lowry with the assist. You tell that Lowry was the only time excellence here, and his dedication. The moment ability I'd like to uh, help him out is that Kyle Lowry had it all down work in front. He's really like picking up to his own time and wants something else to go even bigger than he had before. Butler right to P.J. Tucker with the fade, bringing it back to Robinson. Lowry outside for three. That's good from the triple as Lowry has his first bucket. The game six is not that quite intense out there. But Kyle Lowry was only the player that has a lot of man advantage after this technical season was being bumped out here as Jimmy Butler and the other guys were already uh, missed out. Each game was tough. And a fantastic scene of the mobile one block by Bam Adebayo. Bam Adebayo was like slamming things down. Wow, he's big and tall. The squareness of him was putting up a lot of pressure on him. He wants to do things again. Harris for three, good on the triple, and now they're up on the board. 
Now Butler. 13, lead by four. Adebayo back to Lowry. He brings things over again to Butler. Fade shot, right back to Robinson. Robinson moving in towards the baseline. That's a good two for Duncan Robinson. He gets his first bucket. Duncan Robinson, Robinson, the only man for himself, I always call him, that he's only the best player of this one game. He's also going to be a superstar here. I'm wondering what else can he do next? Maybe he can stay here for an R1 as long as possible, possible with Miami. Robinson on final. Delivers it off to Lowry. Shot clock to six. DJ Tucker in the middle. That two-pointer is good, and Lowry with the assist. This one keeps it up here, pressure even going and going. They're going to need some uh, help out there on offense to try to stop them. And beat on Adebayo. Right to Maxi. He's fouled to count the bucket and one. Duncan Robinson picks up his first and their first team foul. And Tyrese Maxi will head to the free throw line shooting one. A tremendous feed here for Joel Embiid. And that delivers it up here for Tyrese Maxi. He's like the only one, like the biggest star, but he wants to be in a show. I agreed. Most times that Tyrese Maxi was the ultimate player here since he got drafted here in the NBA here in 2020 and he definitely started playing for his first time fear as a rookie good for a free throw for Tyrese Maxey Miami lead by five Swings it over to P.J. Tucker. Look out below. That's P.J. Tucker with the dunk. That is a tough one. The inbounder at to Kyle Lowry was going to, like, make him loose. Make him pay for what they did. Harden on out of bio. Harris outside. Two minutes left to go. Harris up. Two pointers good for Tobias Harris. Here down by five. And now Lowry again. Now Lowry will take his own the time. He finds B.J. Tucker. Fades it over to beat the Bayamanabayo. Back to Butler. Five to shoot. Lowry outside going in. Two-pointer up. And that will count the bucket here for Kyle Lowry again. And Jimmy Butler will get his own assist. This teams are in a hard timing in, in the transition in between. It may be very tough on to try to knock it down even more. And a dart and roll around the back. He gets in a layup drive, and they're up back about by five. These teams are always at the uh, end with the only attack. Adebayo on, on MB hits the rim, and that will count the bucket here for Bam Adebayo. He's got four. Maxi on Robinson. Pulls it up and a bad pass here for Joel Embiid. And Lowry inside. And he's knocked out. And this one should have been an offensive foul. Well, it's too late already because now that can be a very hard one to try to stop the pressure. Wow, no foul call. It was a delayed penalty. They should have challenged it. The challenging was very that difficult to make the decision here. This all has to happen. They should have counted that one here with the offensive foul, and that should have been happening here before. Now that's a tough and bad one to try to knock them down what they have. First timeout call by Miami as they would have challenged that whistle here under 20 seconds to go. It's now 17-12 lead for Miami. coming in for the Sixers and the Heat as Max Struess and Jim, as Martin and Tyler Hero are checked in. 
John the other hand right down there, Danny Green, George Niang, and Kirk and Course Boss, along with Paul Millsap, are checked in. CD, CD Martin makes a shot, and that delivers it on by seven. First bucket in game six. Martin with a deep up court shot. Oh, he just couldn't make it in there, but it was in and out. That tough one's going to be a bad boy in there. And with the Heat lead, we'll be right back with the second quarter after this break. Tremendous team, tremendous players, tremendous tough game. We start now with the second quarter as 19 and 12 has already gained their lead for Miami. And guys, those teams are the only uh, players that have played here since season two and the last NBA playoffs. How does it really turn out to be one of the bestest players in the game, guys? For me, I think that was going to happen, but the Sixers have it all in control. Those teams are the only players that they have played here before. They have it all down here to try to knock things over. They need something to go with the number way up their drive and try to work their way around. Adebayo making the drive. He is pitching in P. Now Harden. He will deliver this back into the offensive zone. Back to Hero to Bill Sapp. Adebayo on the cover. This one's up. Oh, he just kind of hammered, hammered down here on the dunk. Paul Millsap, oh my. I don't know what to tell, but that was all that happened. Whoosh, that was going to be a very tough one. Please uh, help me if you will. Adebayo, right inside. Oh boy, he's going to do it. But he doesn't hit the dunk that time, as the double mans were already defended. James Harden on Hero. Niang on Martin. Sweets it back to Harden. Screen on Yang. Two pointer for Harden. Off at the throw, it's missed away as Victor Oladipo with the rebound. Oladipo to Struess. Struess bounce passes to Adebayo. Double man on him. Struess outside for three. Gets it to go, and that's Adebayo with the assist. Their teams are like in hard in gym pack. There might be one player that might have to go hard in between. Court boss on Martin. He finds over to Niang, beats it up to Harden. Only six to shoot. Harden can't forget about that one. He made that bucket. Timeout called by Miami as another one is being changed up with 3.15 to go. Those teams really need something else here to try to fix their pressures on defense and offense. They need something else to try to keep their eyes to the strength. They need something else to try to go bigger and better. And we got a quick break here as we will be uh, honored with back with you shortly for a few seconds. And as we approach back on the court, we have some new changes going on here for Miami Heat as Danny Green is checked out. And Matisse Feibel comes back in for Danny Green. And the other team right now still needs some changing there for the offense to try to take their own. And they need something else to try to go with them. Wow, Bill with a buyer, you can slam down. He gets a one-handed dunk. That dunk was just wow moment. You gotta be serious. Man, what a tough guy he is. Court Mons on the boat. Screen on Millsap. Inside now, Perkins Court Mons up to five hole. On a bio on him. Five to shoot. Five hole. Up and over hand, over Martin. Another miss by Philadelphia, and he stepped out of bounds. Well, that was a mistake. Not going to happen, but I'm not going to lie. That was too much. New changes coming in for the Heat as Lowry, Hero, Old Depot, PJ Tucker stay here. And out on the court for a Struess. And with the other one, Embiid, Embiid Maxi, and Tobias Harris are checked in. Lowry on Maxi. Harris outside, up again by Corpaz. Fievel, all in over Depot. Mark Maxi over Lowry. There is rebounded by Bam Adebayo. Bam Adebayo is receiving another rebound on one of his major, uh, major team that he wants to pick things up. AJ Tucker feeds off to Adebayo. 205 to remain. 
knocks the ball, and it still turns it over. It's a sixer ball. Wow, the changeup is always that happens. The last touch went on, it was happened. PJ Tucker couldn't save the ball, and it went too loose to try to knock that down. What a great help. Maxi, right over to MB. Two minutes left to remain in the first half. And he finds Maxi. Good speed by Embiid. He back down by 10. Joel Lowry, right to Robinson. He feeds it back over to Lowry. Finds over Jimmy Butler. Embiid stepping. Inbounding, no good. Remember Jimmy Butler outside of three. A minute and a half to go here for the first half of the game. Lowry on Maxi. Hero gets it covered. No, Robinson gets it covered. Shot clock to five. Three! You count that one in. Tobias Harris down by nine. And it's 28-21. You feel that pressure? Do you feel that one tomorrow? It might be a tough one if they're going to be preceding them into game seven. Back over to Lowry. Just six to shoot. Butler tries again. The two-pointer floater. Good for Butler. And it's a 30-21 lead. They're always going to be a good chance for Jimmy Butler and the team. They haven't all even encountered out there. For a while at a moment, it might be tough to try to stop them down. And beat on Adebayo. Takes a wraparound. It's rebounded by Adebayo. Adebayo receiving four rebounds for game six. Now he feeds off to Lowry. Lowry right over to B.J. Tucker. He's got to be careful that uh, without getting a turnover call because that was his last touch. Indeed, he needs something else to try to knock this down. And it also needs something else to try to come even bigger but he wants to try to stay, stick that one in the landing platform. Ten seconds left to go. Maxi on Lowry. Try to feed it inside. Five seconds to go. And beat on the bio. He goes in with a buzz beater. That'll be off the mark. That ends the first half. It's 32 21. As we close things up, we'll send you down to David Aldridge. Stand by for the halftime show. Thanks, guys. Joined by Doc Rivers. Coach, what did you think of the effort in the first half? That's fine, I guess. Uh, defensively, we got to be better, so that's part of the effort. But they're just going too easy. They're throwing us around. They have so much more than a physical team right now, so we got to pick up our physicality. I'm sure that will be discussed thoroughly before the next half. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you. See you later for the third quarter. The start of the Tough battle in between the Heat and the Sixers. Let's have a recap moment one more time. Here's how they did in the first half of the game six. And that should do it. Let's head you back down to Philadelphia to resume the play. Guys, back to you. I'll be here for the post game show and tune in for the Celtics and Bucks. to have you here as we're about to start the third quarter. The teams are very good in position, but the team that had it all the most here was Bam Adebayo. Bam Adebayo was a definite and instant player to be a legendary. He's increasing his power strength to try to knock it all down. One block, four rebounds, and ten points. This is crazy. I mean, I'd really like to see him that far. I know for that. Bam Adebayo really wants to do things on his own. And lately, for in between the inbound, we want to see how well he does. Hopefully, we'll get, we can get a chance to see him do it again. Oh, you definitely want to do that one again. Bam on a bio gets a second dunk, and it's Lowry with the assist. 
Yep, I know that pressure. That's like a coming along in between. MP! Oh, he revenges on Anabio says, not that time. You have it all down. Wow. Lowry on an Arden. Now he brings back to Butler. Moves back to Anabio. Outside, Robinson for three. Good, and a triple outside. It comes back in. Robinson is reaching his height. Five points in the game, and it's a leadoff in between. Those two teams are hard when they're trying to face them all they've got. Robinson with the rebound as Butler picks it up. Now he swings off to Tucker. Tucker moves over to Butler. That two will be in the bound, and P.J. Tucker with the assist. That's a toughest one. The scoring and drought for P.J. Tucker. He definitely wanted to do that one, deliver it again. Harder right to Maxi. MB with the screen. Robinson trying to avoid it. Two up, two and rebound it. MB, no question about that one. And he's picked him back in there. 345 left to go. Miami timeout. Will be delivered up here again by Eric Spolstra as they wanted to pick things up again. So far, it wasn't that uh, very that tricky for in between those two. But I'm betting this might be happening again if this if this is going to happen once more than they have here in a lifetime. You now know that Franklin the dog is out there. Might be showing them to try to extend it, and they want some hyping going on here in Game Six. That might be a lot harder that they want to play here before. And after that one here, it looks like we're gonna bring back in the uh, center man, Deadman, in the game. Yeah, I haven't seen Deadman playing on here, but it looks like this might be his time to rise up and, and shine the game and try to get right into it. Let's see if Deadman can try to help them out. New changes here for the Sixers and the Heat as Deadman comes in for Adebayo. All the other players are checking out, including Tucker, is checked out. Hero and Oladipo are checked in. Denman hasn't played here before after playing with the, with the Sacramento Kings. That time, it may be a very tough one to go inbound. I'm not sure what's going to happen here, but this might be between the fact, wow, Denman got a first bucket in that one again, six, and he's fouling one. Paul Millsap delivers his first personal and another team foul on Philadelphia. Yeah, it looks like Bam Adebayo was, he wants his own break, so he wants to step off the court because he because he's out of energy. He wants to, like, give it a rest for a minute, and then before that, Dudman wants something else to try to hype it back in now. Dudman hits the free throw, and it's now 42-25. Looking for something hyping up here, back in the other hand for Harding. Millsap on Deadman. Holds him out tight, Harris on Butler. This is off to Nia. And Harris inside, hits a feet out. And Harris is delivering the pressure here again. They wanted to close that gap. Lowry, right over to Oladipo. Wants to switch things over again. He finds Hero. Go for three. And a bucket in. Hero gets his first three-pointer. And they're up already. Extending the lead. Well, Hero, he's like quiet out there. But all it does turn out, an open three-pointer. Eight questions asked. How are you successful here for Harden? And it's Millsap with the dunk and another bucket. That's a great successful call. That was delivering the pressure here in between those two. Hero right to Deadman. Feeds off to Butler. A solid D here for Danny Green and a rebound by Millsap. Green on Lowry. Millsap back to Green. Back, back to Harris on Oladipo. Screen on Niang. Gets rejected. Hey, in the deck, three pointer for Nia. Good! Outside the range, they're picking up steam. And Harris with the assist. Now they're coming back in there. They need something else to try to stop their run. Hero back to Lowry. 
He fights it over to Oladipo. Deadman again. Reaches inside. Second bucket scores. Deadman with five points. And it's now Oladipo with a assist. Harden on Lowry. Fights over to Harris. Butler on the gap. Screen on the end. Gets ejected away. Harris on Butler. Finding over Harden. Back to Millsap. The two-pointer. And it's knocked away. And Lowry with the rebound. Rebounding is definitely not and that you don't want to like miss the things out. Because when the player gets there in time, they need something else to try to like go stop the pressure. And then by, they need something else to go right away. This is called for heat ball after last touch by Nia. And Deadman is checked out as Martin will be checking in. Great run for Deadman so far. And for Bam on bio, he may be a little bit too hard to give out but a good breath call and try to, uh, try to help him out. Butler for three. That one carries out, and it's Harden with the rebound. 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Harden on Lowry, fights over to Green. Oladipo on the cover with the defender. Right over to Cork Moss on Hero. Niang on Butler, five to shoot. He puts it in. Here yeah, you've got the pressure he had of a George Niang. He was going to be a star. Not really a star, but he might be gaining star in the next season. Butler right to Oladipo. Oladipo with the drive and he's fouled. Paul Millsap with a second, second team foul. Stop the clock at 12 seconds. Oh, not a great idea here. It's for Paul Millsap. That may be too risky. It's all that happens to be hot and paid. Oladipo at the free throw line as Miami is giving another free throw percentage here in the first and second half in every games. Right now, they're increasing it more. First free throw tipped out. And a new changeup coming in for Tucker and Rob Robinson. Hero and Martin moves over to point forward after Jimmy Butler checks out. And a new changeup for the team as three players have checked out and three players checked in. And good on the first free throw for the second of Oladipo. Ten seconds left. Maxi Alari. Just five to go. Maxi up to MB. Want to deliver the buzz beater. And no good here. Oh man, he just could have tried to get that one better, but that was too strong. I know, but he got the buzz beater in time. It was too odd. Third quarter is complete. One more quarter to go. If Miami wins, they're going to be moving on to the finals. We'll be right with you for the fourth quarter when we come back. And we're about to release here for the fourth quarter as this scoring drop was picked up 48 to 34. It's been a tremendous game here in between since we've seen the playoffs in the first round, the second round, here in between those two. How does it feel now to be uh, showing the rematch in between the Heat and the Sixers following off, following along with the regular season, guys? I really like this one. This one's the bestest game ever. And I really like to give that one a good perfect credit. Me too. I always really like that one. Since season two, I think this one's going to turn out to be an unforgettable run. Yeah, putting it back in there. They might be going up to steam it a go. Lowry again, 420 to go. And it's Robinson in a wing. He beats it off to Struce. Max C. Is trying to looking for his dunk, but he was too loose to try to make that one attack. Oh man, I would have seen that. Maxi would have made that dunk, but it was too hard to keep that in front. Joel beats foul as PJ Tucker was at the free throw line shooting too. And those two guys have it hard in mind to try to answer them back and try to hit the deck. Shoot two.
free throw sends it in for P.J. Tucker. P.J. Tucker is very old when he left to hear that one. Since after playing with the other team of the Houston Rockets, it's their time to make them shine, to hit them back down the deck. Alibio is checked in for C.D. Martin. That second free throw will be in for P.J. Tucker. He now has 10 points in the game, only 4.07 to play in the fourth quarter. Maxi, trying to watch the players on the vendors. Screen on for King Corpons. And B for three. Good! That's a three pointer up again. They're doing this all over. They're trailing by 21. That's going to be a very tough one to try to make that one here. Sorry, trailing by 11, I should have meant. Now he brings back to Lowry. Right over to Arnabio. With the shot. Fade off and a miss again by Miami. Bible reaching up to Court Boss. And he goes in. Drive in front. Then back down by nine. This is going to be another defensive breakdown out there. They are in trouble. Robinson right to Adebayo. Adebayo right to Lowry. Struess watching the players in the attack. Tucker. Lowry, open man look. And he got it all down. Lowry gets another three-pointer. It's a eight-point score for Lowry on his draft. The draft was all that happened. They are losing their control. It was too hard. And beat on a bio. Two-pointer will deliver in front. Back down by 10. This was a tough one. In between a situation out there. Wow, we chucked it off by Adebayo, and then Biddy with the block. That's a great hustle out there by Mobile One Block. I love that and Big was like pressure. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like that one because uh, Joel and Big was definitely a great tough end bound. And Struess is checked out and Jimmy Butler is checked back in. All fans are disregarding on him because he's already been playing with the Sixers but now, his team now is with the Miami Heat. Yeah, I don't know what their complaint is all about because of all that happens with Jimmy Butler. He was all inbounded up here again. They want something to help them. Lowry inside. Feed off jumper. Five to shoot. Butler for three. Good! And outside the range, back up by 13. Only 2.15 left to go. Their team is trying to pick up the run. Harden on Lowry. Back to me. Dunk it goes. Timeout called by Miami. And with 2.08 to go. It's a pressure on hard on attack. Defensive breakdown is in struggle. They got somebody else to try to pick their way up in the game. Coming up later will be the next one as I will be uh, heading it over to Boston for me, V Phone, and Clover. They got a lot of good improvement to get their skills going. If there is a player that wants to rehydrate and get back in the game, well, we may never know. It might be a hard one to try to go right in between and by. I'm pretty uh, sure that this might be a good one to give that one a tough. It'll be on the run. The look at in between. I love that one. In between those two guys is the only uh, other one not going to comply. And we have time now to present the New Balance player of the game for game number six. The New Balance of the player of the game goes to Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry was a succeeding course here of this run. The night is on for Kyle Lowry to try to finish their season in game one through six. It looks like their team is ready for everything and they might be heading to the Western and Eastern Conference Finals. And there might be a there might be a winner here for the Western Conference champions here and try to ready to go into the NBA finals. Two minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. Larry back to Hero. Adebayo outside. He goes inside. Oh, he denied that shot. Wow, what a stop by MB. Adebayo was never gonna last it down. Oh, you 
better dig out one. And Tobias Harris with the assist. It's a, it's a slam. That dunk was an all pressure out there. He never done that one before. Butler, revenge is on. And this one is on Butler to try to stop them slow. It's slowed down. It's all moment out there. And it says, it's all going to come down to the wire. A minute and a half to go here for the Sixers and Heat. Maxi to MB, and he does it again. There's so many uh, guys I want to be slamming it. Dunk down. That's a tough one to make that inbound pay for. Adebayo, right on MB. Back to High Hero. Right to Lowry. Fights it over to Butler. Screen on P.J. Tucker. He wants to do it. Oh, it's going to be the number one to slam it down. Let's have a look one more time. I know that. That's a kind of bang. All with the Jimmy Butler nose. His strong movement off the air. Ability strong delivers. And that was a slam cam of AT&T 5G. He was a, he was a astonishing. Like the player, the heat that puts him on fire to streak it. Embiid off with a no good shot, and coming down the wire is Anabayo. Anabayo back over to Lowry. He feeds it back to PJ Tucker. 40 seconds left to go. Lowry back again. Six on a shot clock with a shot. That was a little bit early, but he still holds on tight. And for that one, Lowry and their team are going to the Eastern Conference Finals. That's right. I know that one. This was a famous time. And with all that lucky luck, luck with the run of the Sixers in 2020, I think their team, very Heat, are going to revenge it for tonight. Lowry will hold on to the ball as he will try to like make one last possession here and that will have to do for their team and the shot clock has expired already as one last change for the Sixers and the Heat. All five players are checked out and all five players are checked in. Vincent Struess, Martin Dedman, and Yurtseven are up and the other teams are there. And that will do from here. Well, as they congratulate for Miami Heat with the feat of the Sixers defending champions in the 2K sports, they're moving on to the Eastern Conference Finals. And to close things off here, we go down to David Aldridge. David, you close things off for the Jordan New Balance Player of the Game. Thanks very much, Bam. Activity on glass tonight. How pleased were you with the performance? I'm just happy for one. You know, the stats don't matter unless you get a win. So I'm happy we got a win and keep dedicating them to my mom, man. You know, she's my blessing, so she just keeps blessing me for some reason. Love to love, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you, DA. And with that one, Miami wins the series over to Miami. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Miami Heat wins the series 4 2 over Philadelphia. That means we're about to see the Heat playing against the winning team in between the Celtics or the Bucks. That might be the next one on the spot to take care of that one here, but what is your opinion, guys? Well, I'm gonna have to hold up on that one. It's a Neva in between. Neva? Are you sure about that paintbrush? Yeah. You know what, but I don't have to mind. It's all I care for. A team you're never gonna bet, you might have the ab adoption. Adoption. <laughs> The adoption may be the only one that might true things to succeed here for you, Paintbrush. But for Silver Spoon, um, that might be only on his opinion. I don't care. I don't even know who's gonna even gonna try to win. But I'm with the Paintbrush here. And, and sometimes they say, you never know when it comes up to your mind. Well, it definitely comes up within the mind. But I got a lot of worthy credit. And to close things off, we now send you free star players of the game. Starting up with you, Paintbrush, let's give it your thoughts. The thoughts of this one was the only tough one that wants to make it all. The better player of this one? Well, this all does have to close out for Jimmy Butler. 11 points, 2 rebounds, 4 assists, and a tremendous 2 dunks. He has it all in cross inbound. Watch out for him. He's ready for the Eastern Conference Finals. 
And let's take your take on number two for Silver Spoon. Number two, Joella B. 15 points, two rebounds, two assists, and tremendous two blocks in defensive players of the game for Dunson 19 performance run here for game six. I'm hoping the process will get the chance now to get back in the game and the team can head right back to the finals and do it again. And now for you take number one, Son of Beast. Well, this all has to close things up here as the man on interview had it all down. Well, there might be one. Bam Adebayo. 12 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal on the block. And a tremendous 2 dunks, an incredible run. Trying to revenge on Joel and B. And the other players of that one. They got it all even counted down. So thank you for watching for the Sixers in the Heat. Make sure to tune in for the last one if you haven't missed Cats on yet. The links are in the description here and the calling card is up there. And with that, I guess that's going to do for a wrap there, guys. Thank you guys so much for coming here, Paintbrush and Silver Spoon. I'll see you guys here next time for another game. And you too, as always, I always bet the agreement has always succeed. Same to you there, son of beast. Anyway, this has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs of the first part of the Eastern Conference semifinals. Tune in later as this will be the Celtics and the Bucks. So, thank you all for watching. Until next time, peace out everyone for us a while as the NBA playoffs of the Eastern Conference semifinals of round two. Thank you, and have a wonderful night here in the brotherly love of Philadelphia and Miami. With a win here in a nice city that never loves the standing. Until next time, take care folks, get home safe.